For this lesson, we're going to discuss a sound entity called the audio area ambience. This entity is a audio entity in itself, but it also utilizes a shape to basically house the ambience of the environment within it. And it can be defined on top of that with what are called RTPCs, which are real-time player controls, which in this case will give us a distance falloff based on how far we are away from the shape, whether we're in it or outside of it. So let's get into it and talk about how we make the shape first, and then we'll proceed into the audio entity. To begin, we need to go to Area and click Shape. We also need to go up top here and make sure that we have Snapping to Geometry on. That way, when we click on the points, it will be on top of our pit blank level. So I double click to end it and now I want to add height to it. So what we're going to do is make it about 8. This is really really high so it's 8 meters. It would be a huge wall but for the case of this tutorial it gets the point across. I'm also going to do display filled and then what we're going to do is rename it. So let's call this ambient shape. Clicking off of this, we now have the shape in the middle of the area, and we're ready to grab the audio entity. So let's step back and go into the audio section, and we're going to take audio area ambience. I'm going to double click that, and then I'm going to add it right here on this box. Let's go ahead and rename this to AAA for audio area ambience, and we'll call this one ooh, ambient sound. Pretty basic in general. So now we have these two entities and they kind of need to connect or work together. And we do this through the shape. So I'm going to go ahead and click off of there. And I'm going to select the ambient shape. I'm going to come down to operators here. If you don't see it, you can toggle it open. We're going to choose target and we're going to choose add. So in this blank spot here, if I click that, it will say pick an entity. And what it wants me to do is drag my cursor over it and then target that ambient sound. You may also notice that there's a little line that has come across here. Let me move this up so it's even more apparent. We need to turn off the toggle snapping so we can move it upward. And now you can see this is the connection right here between the entity for audio as well as the shape. So at this point, we've kind of connected the shape. It's pretty much done for this basic tutorial. But now we need to come into this ambient sound entity and define a couple things. So the first thing that we need to define is the environment. And this will control the reverb or echo, basically the environmental effects. And what we want to do is choose something that's outside. So clicking on the folder icon, I can go and I can choose my environment. And I'm going to go ahead and choose forest. It's just the most generic. And then we can move onward from there. Now we don't need a global RTPC, which is the real-time player control, but we do need a trigger. So let's go into it and get the global ambience, and we'll just do Cave Mysterious. I like the way that sounds. And now we're ready to choose our RTPC, which if we click on this, we now are given the audio controls. And what we're wanting to do is choose the area fade distance. It's a very common RTPC that you use. So double clicking it, that selects it. And the last thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into the console and I'm going to type in draw audio. We're going to choose the debug and we're going to type in A. And this brings up the translation layer, which is what we want, but it will also bring up a red circle or sphere to show us how it's interacting. So let's go ahead and jump in, see if we can't get anything going. So you notice right there we have the, the sphere that's popping up. And it's showing us that based on where we are, the sound is generating, and that's the source. So even though we can't see the shape, we can see how exactly it's generating and our area ambience works. So this is just a basic setup for an audio area ambience using a shape. You can use other entities, which we have tutorials for with random 
and even obstruction, which can be defined through this shape, but is not covered in this video. So I push you to try and investigate how you can have this and you can have maybe nesting of other shapes inside of it, which we show in another video. But the way you can manipulate audio inside of your levels is very, very diverse, and it can really, really create a consuming experience inside of regular gaming or VR.